Hey, welcome back. In this video and the next coming few videos, we're going to learn how to use Docker for development, for local development, which means we can use Docker for software development or for maybe um, you know website development and use it for uh, database development and so on and so forth. And the idea here is that when we run Docker, when we run a, a Docker container, what we'd like to do is uh, if our Docker container, for example, contains a web server or contains any sort of it's running any software tool inside it what we want to do is use our our own text editor or our own IDE from the host to edit the code that that is sitting inside the container so what we're going to do is we're going to find a way of writing the code from our host and that code should be reflected inside the container and the experiment that we're going to do here we're going to be using Apache and PHP. I hope you're familiar with the, the, these two. You can, if you practice Docker and uh, become more comfortable with it, then you can add to them the MySQL database server if you want. So the experiment we're going to run here is going to be based on a Docker file created by this person, Dan Pupius or Pupius. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, and I hope he doesn't mind us using his material. So uh, I'll, I'll put the link to the, his web to this web page. Uh, under, uh, below below this video and what he has here is he has uh, a docker file he has an apache configuration uh, file and he has a very very simple website just inside the directory an in index.php file which contains a very small it just prints out a simple uh, hello world or something like that right this is what the docker file looks like i've downloaded it and i've uh, modified it a little bit here and there uh, it's available on github by the way I hope you're familiar with github too and this is the apache config file as we mentioned and this is the contents of the index.php file so what I've done is I have uh, downloaded as I said the docker file the apache config file and the triple w directory which contains this simple uh, index file this is what the index file looks like just a simple echo statement right so let's have a quick look at the content of the docker file we spoke about this before i've put the link here so the first thing you notice here is that um, anything that begins with a hash any line that begins with a hash in the docker file is a com is a comment so it'll be ignored basically this is the link to dan's web page that i mentioned previously uh, and then we're saying here from ubuntu latest so base our base uh, here is, is ubuntu and then the maintainer is still dan's name I'm, I'm not going to put mine by the way i'll try to put a link to this docker file below this these videos and here what what it does here is just in this is a comment again it says install apache php and supplementary programs so on and so forth so what we do here is we do the run command run and then the following things run app get update double ampersand means run this and then this app get minus y upgrade and then this and um the backslash just starts a new line basically continue the previously but just you know put these things in a new line um, install and then uh, basically app get minus y install the following packages apache 2 php 7 and so on and so forth even the mysql plugin and so on and so forth and then these are some settings for apache anyone familiar with apache and php will be familiar with these when you work on ubuntu of course enable apache mods run uh, these commands. Uh, I don't know whether we've ex actually explained the command run before. The Docker command run run means basically just run this command, yeah. And then update php.ini file run uh, this command. The sed tool uh, to basically modify the contents of the PHP file inside the container. So slash slash etsy slash php version seven apache two php.ini and so on and so forth. And then to manually configure some environment variables, set up some Apache environment variables, and then I've actually added these ones. What happens is when you run when you run this container and the Apache server uh, tries to start, it doesn't know uh, what the server name is, so it just manually set it to localhost. Basically, just echo insert this statement server host, server name space localhost by at the end of this file. Let's see Apache two httpd conf and at the end of this file this is what this command does run and then just insert the statement 
at the, in the file and here we're using the statement uh, the command expose to expose port 80 meaning that allow the container to be uh, reached via port 80 and we'll come to that in more detail in the next video and then what we do here is we just copy the triple W uh, folder that I showed uh, a few moments ago into this uh, location in the container slash var slash triple W slash site after that uh, we again what we do now is this is the command add by the way the, the docker command add add again copy this file the apache configuration file into uh, this file replace this file inside this is the, in, inside the, the container and then what we do here is we uh, by default we start apache tool server in the foreground so when we run the container it continues to to, to, to run the apache to uh, apache server here yeah. right let's have a look at the apache config file again uh, simple configuration file nothing really complicated if you look here you know just using port 80 using setting up document root slash var slash site uh, I'm sorry slash var slash triple w slash site this is where we copied the triple w file from our host to the container where is the statement this statement here okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, run or make the container and then after that we'll speak about how we can uh, do software development as I said access code from between the host and the container so what we do here is we do docker build minus t let's give it a name maybe my website or something like this and then we give it dot to tell it where the path of the uh, basically to tell it that to find the docker file in the card directory in fact to do minus t to tag it we can do that or we can say minus and then put that in double quotes as a string both ways should work uh, if i hit enter now it'll take a while to download the ubuntu base image and uh, build uh, the image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull, pause the video uh, and come back to you when it actually has finished uh, building the image right hit enter as you can see it starts let's try and pause the video if we can So it's still building almost there I was pausing the video for a bit yes it has finished building as you can see if we do docker images then our image should be ready we can run it via doing docker run uh, we call it my website so it should run and run it in the background by using minus D and by the way if you remember we exposed port 80 yeah and by default the default command that we run using this command uh, uh, docker command is to launch Apache server in the background so what we're going to do is we're going to say minus P and then let's say 8080 colon 80 what we're doing here is we're doing port mapping so map the port 8080 from the host to port 80 in the container remember we said the container runs on port 80 if we do that we should be able to access the uh, access the website, the little website that index.php inside the container on port 8080. For this to make sense, let me just hit enter. And if I do docker ps now, remember in the last video, I removed all the docker containers and images that I have. I showed you how to do that. So now I know it's telling me that um, it has a name, my website. If I just can just make this wider, my website, this is the image name and that's the command that's running so apache server is running and it's telling me here that this 000, 000 by the way the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 that means it's accessible from anywhere just maps to, to the ip address and 8080 is mapped in the host is mapped to 80 uh, uh, port 80 in the container okay enough talking let's go to the web browser and do localhost and then port 8080 
and we should say the hello. The hello now is that index.php file we copied from the host, the triple W, uh, if you remember, triple W folder into the host, if you remember from the word Docker file, in the Docker file, as we mentioned before. I'm going to stop here and continue in the next video by talking about how we can do the mapping between the host and the container. See you next time.